The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Proof of Our Discipleship By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another. John 13, verse 35 There is nothing that can so weaken the influence of the church as the lack of love. The people of the world are looking to us to see what our faith is doing for our characters and lives. They are watching to see if it is having a sanctifying effect on our hearts, if we are becoming changed into the likeness of Christ. They are ready to discover every defect in our lives, every inconsistency in our actions. Let us give them no occasion to reapproach our faith. It is not the opposition of the world that will most endanger us. It is the evil cherished right in our midst that works our most grievous disaster. It is the unconsecrated lies of half-hearted professors that retard the work of the truth and bring darkness upon the church of God. There is no sure way of weakening ourselves in spiritual things than to be envious, suspicious of one another, full of fault-finding and evil surmising. When you are associated together, be guarded in your words. If the love of the truth is in your heart, you will talk of the truth. You will talk of the blessed hope that you have in Jesus. If you have love in your heart, you will seek to establish and build up your brother in the most holy faith. If a word is dropped that is detrimental to the character of your friend or brother, do not encourage this evil speaking. It is the work of the enemy. Kindly remind the speaker that the word of God forbids that kind of conversation. We are to empty the heart of everything that defiles the soul temple that Christ may dwell within. Our Redeemer has told us how we may reveal Him to the world. If we cherish His Spirit, if we manifest His love to others, if we guard one another's interests, if we are kind, patient, forbearing, the world will have an evidence by the fruits we bear that we are the children of God. It is the unity in the church that enables it to exert a conscious influence upon unbelievers and worldlings.